rises throughout our country, daily newspapers play an indispensable role in informing our citizens about local issues and newsworthy events, which is critical to the functioning of a vibrant democracy. The reason newspapers are so essential to a well-informed well public is simple. In most markets, newspapers have far and away the most extensive news gathering resources of any local media. At the Dallas Morning News, for example, we spend more than $30 million per year in our news gathering operation, and we have more reporters on the street than the ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox affiliates in our market combined. It's been well documented that the newspaper is in a very real crisis. In the past several months alone, one major market daily has folded, another is surviving only as a scaled-down online news service, and a handful of others have cut back their printing operations. Since December, five major newspaper companies have declared bankruptcy. Virtually all publishers in every market, large and small, have been forced to lay off highly valued journalists and other employees and take other drastic cost-saving measures. Unfortunately, we have not been immune to these trends at the Dallas Morning News. The problem, ironically, is not really a loss of audience. Newspaper readership remains very strong. In fact, more people read a, news, read a newspaper the Monday after this year's Super Bowl than actually watch the big game on Sunday, and that doesn't include all the people who go online to read what newspapers publish. The problem is that because of the, the, the intense competition for advertising, particularly from Internet-based companies, the newspaper share of the overall advertising market has dropped dramatically. If the current downward trend continues, and we have seen it this way for the first four months of this year, newspapers will have experienced as much as a 50% drop in advertising revenues over a three-year period, revenues that represent 80% of newspapers' total revenue. Even online advertising, which has often been hailed as the industry's most promising future growth engine, declined in 2008 and accounted for less than 10% of overall newspaper revenues. The end of the recession, and there will be one, will not necessarily mean that these advertising revenues will return to newspapers. Newspapers are in the midst of a secular shift that is posing a serious long-term threat to the revenues that make it possible for the public service journalism that is done by newspapers across this country each and every day. So what can Congress do to help newspapers? Here are three things. First, as a means of providing newspaper publishers with a critical and immediate infusion of capital, Congress should pass the Baucus Snow Bill that would extend the carryback period for net operating losses from two to five years for all businesses, not just newspapers. A similar provision was included in the economic stimulus package, but unfortunately, this relief was limited to only small businesses. Second, Congress should act quickly on legislation providing a limited antitrust exemption that will allow newspapers some breathing room to share ideas and jointly explore innovative business models. This relief, with proper but expedited review at the Justice Department, would help newspapers transition to the future. Third, Congress should ensure that newspaper publishers have the means to obtain reasonable compensation from Internet companies that reproduce their content for their own commercial gain. Some internet operators routinely free ride on the investments that newspapers are making in local journalism by copying or summarizing newspaper content in order to drive audiences to their websites and then gain revenue through the selling of advertising. Congress could consider the establishment of a consent for content principle that would apply to breaking news. This principle bears an interesting similarity to the system of retransmission consent adopted by this committee and the Congress in the 1992 Cable Act. Again, I want to thank you for the opportunity to appear at this hearing today, and I hope that these discussions will lead to practical actions that will help maintain the type of journalism that our local communities deserve, expect, and need. Thanks, Mr. Roney, and thanks for uh, referencing the retransmission concept, which I think does have some relevance in the conversation, so we'll talk about it, pick up on it.